You are not alone. This year, millions will be diagnosed with low energy or low E. But plan. Technicians will get your vehicle back to manufacturer standards. Look for us at AutoACG.com. That's AutoACG.com. We are near you with locations all over SoCal. Remember, AutoACG.com, your certified collision center. Hey, LAFC fans. If you're in need of large format printed graphics and installation or projection mapping to bring a massive building to life or creative designs to make your message pop, look no further than LAFC Zone official signage partner, A3 Visual. A3 Visual is a full service visual solutions company specializing in large format printing, immersive events, creative design, fabrication and installation. Make the world your canvas with A3 Visual. Visit them today at a3visual.com. Sorry, just jumping through some hoops here. Trying to illustrate how CarMax's pre-qualifying tool doesn't make you jump through any. Ugh. Save time by personalizing your search by monthly payment. Ugh. All without affecting your credit score. So why am I still jumping through hoops? Ugh. Well, better me than you. Whoa, that one was on fire. CarMax, Carbine Reimagined. See CarMax.com for details. Hey, LAFC fans, Yamava Resort and Casino at San Manuel is giving away a half million dollars in Jordan prizes this summer. You could win a PSA 10 graded Michael Jordan rookie car, iconic Jordan sneakers, ones to 15s, and tens of thousands in free play. Come in and walk on air all May and June at Yamava Resort and Casino. Details at Yamava.com. Must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. What does a bank like BMO know about soccer? Well, we've been a fan for two decades. Helped over a quarter million kids take the pitch. And invested $25 million in support of youth athletes. But we're not just growing the game, we're growing the good. We're a bank that helps millions of customers make real financial progress. And that's something we can all cheer for. BMO, official bank of LAFC. BMO Harris Bank, NA member FDIC. Bet on your team. Not your cooking abilities. Find what you need to hit the spot by ordering Postmates, the official on-demand delivery partner of Los Angeles Football Club. Use code LA30 to get 30% off your first three orders of $35 or more. Terms apply. It's halftime of LAFC and Sporting KC. We recap what went down in the first half, stats, highlights, and what LAFC needs to do in the second half to pull out the win. Presented by Kaiser Permanente. As the team physicians of LAFC, we work to keep the heart of LA healthy and the hearts of LA thriving. Kaiser Permanente, together we thrive. This is halftime of LAFC. This is Kellen Acosta of your LAFC. It's halftime of LAFC. This is Ryan Hollingshead, number 24, Los Angeles Football Club, on the home of the black and gold. Now here's your host. Now here's the voice of LAFC, Dave Denholm. Unfortunately, it's a slightly familiar refrain here in the first 45 minutes. Black and gold cannot quite find the back of the net, and their uh, scoreless streak has now extended to 405 minutes in all competitions. They trail Sporting Kansas City 1-0 at the break. It did start out well for LAFC. Boy, what a chance from Steve Buke on some brilliant individual effort in the third minute. Ilya through the channel and diagonal to Buke. Two, round two defenders. Buke into the area. Around another defender. Shot. Steve McIntosh. It's over the bar. Oh, Buke lit up LA's offense right through the middle. But Sporting KC's Kendall McIntosh with a brilliant save. Oh, what a move by Stipe. Around two defenders. Got the shot away, but McIntosh closed down the angle. Stipe Buke light and quick here at the start. But McIntosh got down brilliantly. Corner kick LAFC. Can't oversell how good of a save that was. That could have changed a lot in this match right from the jump. 17th minute. Gotti Kinda had earned a PK as they had to go to VAR and take about seven minutes, not quite, but to check it out. Because, you know, it was clear and obvious, so it took that long to decide it was a penalty on Daniel Maldonado. Alan Pulido stepped up and made no mistake. But Alan Pulido's going to step up for the PK here. Referee sets everybody. The right foot of Pulido approaches, shoots, goal! 
McCarthy got a little bit of a touch, but he couldn't keep it out of the net. It's 1-0, Sporting Kansas City. McCarthy dove right. It was a very good PK, though, and I don't think there was anything a keeper was going to be able to do to keep that out of the net. 1-0, Sporting Kansas City. Polito with a chance about 20 minutes later as Sporting started to work really well. The give and goes, the 1-2 passing, especially down that left side of the pitch. And it nearly became 2-0 sport in Kansas City. Breaking lines and trying to turn right around midfield. Libel off to Shalloway. Back into the corner to Libel. Towards the end line. Libel sets the cross into the middle. Long wins the header. Top of the area. Taken out of the air, but the shot is scuffed. And it bounces in front of McCarthy, and both hands are on it for John. Eric Tommy didn't get all of that one saved by McCarthy in the 37th minute. Good effort there by Sporting to get down the pitch again. Tommy got that header out of the air by Aaron Long, knocked it into the ground, but it really took the sting out of it, and he didn't hit it well, and McCarthy set on it all the way. It did bounce right in front of John. Tough play, but McCarthy made it easily. Well, you heard the shot from Stipe Buke in the third minute of the match. Here's the problem. That was the only shot and shot on goal by LAFC in the first 45 minutes. Sporting Kansas City, 53.5% possession, nine shots to one. Shots on goal were three to one in favor of sporting and John McCarthy with two saves. Frankly, the black and gold still only down one nil. They're in this match. Got to keep battling on the road at children's mercy park. There are points to be had here for LAFC. Got to keep your head up. Yes. They're down one nil on the Polito penalty, but there's still a long way to go in that game. Despite those stats really lining up for the home side. Let's hope LAFC can continue to frustrate sporting as long as possible. And maybe you can still get in there. You start to, you know, get right back to it. And you can still take points from this match. Let's look around the rest of MLS on the day. NYCFC got a late goal in stoppage time at home to draw with Columbus 1-1 in an Eastern Conference match. RSL is seconds away from hanging on to a 2-1 win at D.C. United. New England pounded Orlando earlier on the day. A 3-1 final there. The New England Revolution are very good, and that was at home for New England. Uh, and Nashville and St. Louis are tied 1-1 at the half. Coming up later on in the evening, San Jose Earthquakes will host Portland Timbers in a matchup in the Western Conference. This copyrighted audio cast of Major League Soccer may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Major League Soccer. Will we see Carlos Vela off the bench at some point for the black and gold in this one, or will it be youngsters? who get an opportunity off the bench. LAFC trailing Sporting Kansas City 1-0 after 45 minutes. Second half action between the two sides. Coming up next on the home of the reigning MLS Cup champs, ESPN LA. Wendy's Strawberry Frosty is back for the summer. So whether it's beach time, a tea time, or me time, it can always be frosty. Choose Wendy Strawberry Frosty today. Now open till midnight or later. Limited time only. Participating U.S. Wendy. Hours may vary. Key account that comes with roadside assistance, cell phone insurance, more than 450,000 shopping discounts, and a Nashville SC branded MasterCard debit card. That's the Renaissance Rewards Extra checking account. You must have a checking account to receive a debit card. Learn more at renaissancebank.com slash NSC member FDIC. To the opening 45 minutes, Nashville was outshot 5-2 to two by St. Louis City. Both of Nashville's attempts were on target, though, including the goal from Hani Mukhtar that you will hear coming up here in just a moment. Nashville only had six touches in St. Louis's 18-yard box. St. Louis, meanwhile, 12 touches in Nashville's penalty area. The possession was totally even. After Nashville having about 65% of the ball through the opening 20-plus minutes, it was 50-50 after the opening 45 between Nashville SC and St. Louis City SC. St. Louis had two corner kicks in the first half. Nashville did not have any, one of which uh, was incorrectly called at the end of the first half. Should have been a corner, but instead Nashville goes into the halftime interval still looking for their first set-piece opportunity against Roman Berkey's St. Louis City SC side. Each of our looks around MLS is brought to you by Geotis, the official logistics sponsor of Nashville SC. Geotis is a worldwide transport and logistics leader supporting clients around the world. Geotis, behind every great success, there is great logistics. Three games have finished up tonight in a very short MLS slate here in Match Day 19. NYCFC drew Columbus Crew 1-1. to New England Revolution knocked off Orlando City 3-1 to up there in the Northeast. Real Salt Lake goes to D.C. tonight. 
and beats Wayne Rooney's side, D.C. United, by a final of 2-1. to one. one other game is at halftime so far here tonight at MLS. That's Sporting Kansas City and LAFC, and SKC leads the defending league champions by a 1-0 scoreline. San Jose and Portland is the final matchup of the night. That one gets started at 9.30 Central Time. Planning to drink? Don't plan to drive. The Tennessee Highway Safety Office reminds you that fans don't let fans drive drunk. As we remind you to stick around for the second half coming up here in just a few minutes, we'll get you the highlights from the opening 45. Jalil Baba's keys to a second half win. It's been chaotic. You don't want to miss what's coming between Nashville and St. Louis. One-to-one after 45 minutes in the second half kickoff is coming up. Buck Rising can't create the narrative all by himself. Really, he can't. I understand why people feel we're creating narratives. But, I mean, those can't be helped. We are going to watch things. We are going to see things at practice. We are going to put them in the context of everything that has come before them and everything that is scheduled to come after them, thus creating narratives. Monday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 104.5 The Zone. Before Shopify, did you find yourself wondering, where my sales at? But now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. I can't even get my lines out. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my bad. But my Shopify sales are through the roof. Amazing, Gary. Bet you're loving how powerful Shopify's tools are. And I can make my brand look however I want, without code. And that you can sell on all the marketplaces and socials from your Shopify store. Or all that. Gary, stop leaving sales on the table. Start selling with Shopify and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash music23. That's shopify.com slash music23, shopify.com slash music23. A.O. Smith is your local Middle Tennessee water heating and water filtration expert. They enjoy getting involved with local community events such as Titans football and nationally is the presenting sponsor of the prestigious Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award every year. Most importantly, A.O. Smith takes pride in always being there for your needs at your home or business. When you need a water heater or water filter, think A.O. Smith. And contact us today. To find a local professional installer, visit hotwater.com. That's hotwater.com. Hi, this is Paul Winkler. Are you searching for a podcast on money, investing, and financial planning that's actually run by degreed financial planners and isn't driven by the sales process? Then check out the Investor Coaching Show podcast. On a recent podcast, we talked about the stages of retirement and the things you might expect out of the longest vacation you'll probably ever take in your life. Go to paulwinkler.com forward slash podcast or search for the Investor Coaching Show wherever you get your podcasts. The Investor Coaching Show. Hey guys, Tom Patterson here, founder and CEO of Tommy John. For years, you've been hearing me tell you about our revolutionary men's undergarments. But don't take my word for it. Listen to what our customers are saying. Okay, I've been with my husband for 15 years, and my pet peeve has always been catching him rearranging himself. So I got him Tommy John, and he's never adjusted since. Plain and simple, Tommy John's my favorite underwear ever. A horizontal fly, comfortable waistband, color options and no wedgie. Thank you, Tommy John, for changing my life. She's not exaggerating. Tommy John really will change your life. You'll love all of our phenomenal underwear, undershirts, and socks. Plus, the best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free, guarantee. Tommy John, no adjustment needed. Shop Tommy John's Summer Collection and get 20% off your first order at TommyJohn.com slash audio. Save 20% now at TommyJohn.com slash audio. See site for details. Before Shopify, did you find yourself wondering, where are my sales at? But now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. I can't even get my lines out. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my bad. But my Shopify sales are through the roof. Amazing, Gary. Bet you're loving how powerful Shopify's tools are. And I can make my brand look however I want, without code. And that you can sell on all the marketplaces and socials from your Shopify store. Or 
all that. Gary, stop leaving sales on the table. Start selling with Shopify and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash music 23. That's shopify.com slash music 23. Shopify.com slash music 23. <laughs> Minutes have been completed tonight from Nashville. We've got 45 left between the boys in gold and the newest team in Major League Soccer, St. Louis City SC. With Jalil Alibaba, I'm Will Bowling back with you. The sounds of the first half, well, it was just one sound to give you from the first 45 minutes. The 11th goal of the season for Nashville's MVP, Hani Mukhtar. Out to Moore. He could cross from here. He does. Middle of the area. Headed down. There's Hani. Yes. And MVP's welcome to MLS's newest team. Meet your most valuable player. 11th minute, Nashville 1, St. Louis 0. That's how it sounded when Hani Mukhtar opened the scoring. It would be equalized after a lengthy VAR review by St. Louis's Nicholas Joachini there just minutes before the end of the opening 45 minutes as we begin half number two between Nashville SC and St. Louis City SC at this 1-1 deadlock. And Jalil Baba, it looks like we will see two changes made by Gary Smith after 45 minutes, and all substitutions are presented by Nobody Trashes Tennessee. Yeah, you're going to have Jacob Schaffelberg and Ethan Zubak come into this match. I could see a world in which Teal Bunbury caught a few too many knocks in that first half because they were just going after him. Ethan Zubak coming in to lead the line alongside Hani Mukhtar, and then Jacob Schaffelberg coming in for Randall Leal to just wreak absolute havoc down the channel. So Ethan Zubak will come on, replacing Bunbury. Schaffelberg joining him, like we mentioned. One change for St. Louis City as well. John Nelson, a 24-year-old North Carolina product, left back. He will replace Jake Nerwinski, the fullback on the right-hand side for St. Louis. For Nashville, it is Randall Layall who makes way for Jacob Schaffelberg. Randall getting his first start since match day one. Gary Smith still limiting his minutes to just 45 tonight. For Schaffelberg, it is his 17th appearance of the season. He's made nine starts this year. And his pace, Jaleel, will allow Hani Mukhtar to drop more deeply, play that number 10 role. And he will stretch that St. Louis line beyond him, trying to create pockets for his MVP and for his midfield playing behind him. Nashville will move from left to right in the second 45 minutes in their home gold kits with Navy numbers, Navy stripes down each side, Navy shorts as well. The pale red look from St. Louis City, you see them wear it every single week with red uniforms, white numbers, a thin yellow stripe down each side, red shorts, and red socks. Steven Sagafi blows his whistle, gets us underway. A first half with dramatic twists and turns. What does the second 45 have in store in this first ever matchup between Nashville and St. Louis? It is time to find out all to play for between the best in the West and second place Nashville SC in the east immediately onto the field and onto the ball runs jacob schaffelberg along the far sideline tries to send in a cross with his left foot it's poked away by the right back for st louis city sc that's kyle hebert now who switches to that end and back off of schaffelberg it'll be a st louis city goal kick here through the first 30 minutes of half number two chances in the first half but kind of half chances or that final pass will
Round two defenders, Beal into the area, around another defender, shot, Dave McIntosh, and it's over the bar. Oh, Beauk lit up LA's offense right through the middle, but sporting KC's Kendall McIntosh with a brilliant save. Oh, what a move by Stipe, around two defenders, got the shot away, but McIntosh closed down the angle. Stipe, Beauk, light and quick here at the start. But McIntosh got down brilliantly. Corner kick LAFC. That one kind of felt like a, a stomach punch for LAFC. You thought they were going to get a goal there with Stipe making such a great play, but Kendall McIntosh came up huge. And why doesn't that always happen? It's a stomach punch. Then all of a sudden, Sporting Kansas City gets on the front foot. They draw a penalty. Gotti Kinda draws a penalty from Daniil Maldonado, and Alan Pulido steps up in the 17th minute. But Alan Pulido is going to step up for the PK here. Referee sets everybody. The right foot of Polito approaches, shoots, goal. McCarthy got a little bit of a touch, but he couldn't keep it out of the net. It's 1-0, Sporting Kansas City. McCarthy dove right. It was a very good PK, though, and I don't think there was anything a keeper was going to be able to do to keep that out of the net. 1-0, Sporting Kansas City. And boy, oh boy, that hurts. Later in the first half, Eric Tommy with an attempt in the 37th minute that maybe should have made it 2-0. Breaking lines and trying to turn right around midfield. Libel off to Shalloway. Back into the corner to Libel. Towards the end line. Libel sets the cross into the middle. Long wins the header. Top of the area. Taken out of the air, but the shot is scuffed. And it bounces in front of McCarthy, and both hands are on it for John. Eric Tommy didn't get all of that one saved by McCarthy in the 37th minute. Good effort there by Sporting to get down the pitch again. Tommy got that header out of the air by Aaron Long, knocked it into the ground, but it really took the sting out of it, and he didn't hit it well, and McCarthy set it all the way. It did bounce right in front of John, tough play, but McCarthy made it easily. So we get to the halftime, 1-0 Sporting Kansas City. LAFC makes three changes at the break. Jesus Murillo, Ryan Hollingshead, and Carlos Vela came in, and boy, did it, did it really pay immediate, immediate dividends. 48th minute. First goal for the black and gold from Daniel Maldonado. Sends it out to the left side here, waiting for it. That's the corner of the 18 is Bogan. Dragging it to the end line, now cutting it back to his right foot, chipping it into the middle. Header and goal! Daniel Maldonado is tied it at one, and what a play for LAFC! The scoreless streak is over, and more importantly, this game is tied at one. Daniel with his first goal for the black and gold. What a play by LAFC on the corner kick as they reset through Mateusz Bogus, who put it on his right foot, and Bogus delivered a peach in the middle that Maldonado made no mistake on from the six. Wow, what a goal. That is uh, today's Yamava Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Thrill of the match. Daniel Maldonado's first. And the reason I say that's the thrill, because it really put Kansas City on the back foot and got LAFC right back into the game and right back into this season, let's be honest. And it was 1-1 at the time. LAFC had been facing nothing, nothing but hardship over the last five, six games. And that goal really seemed to spark something. Now, coming up a few minutes later, a good effort from Daniel Shalloway, though, forced John McCarthy into action. To Shalloway. Voltaire's waiting for it in the middle. Shalloway still on the football. Libel's out wide. Instead, he goes to the edge of the area to Polito. Back to Shalloway, making the run in the area. Shot, save McCarthy. And it's cleared away at the six. They want the foul on Ryan Hollingshead for grabbing Shalloway, but he got the shot away. Morning's still on it. They're going to give a replay of it here. I mean, Hollingshead had his arm. He wasn't pulling it, really. They were still running. <laughs> and they, oh boy, it uh, kept getting more and more strange. Throughout this second half, Mateusz Bogus with an attempt in the 64th minutes. Going to send Bogus down this left wing. The ball's going to stay in play in the corner. Flag is down. He's outside. Right along the end line. He's waiting for some help. Bogus on the right foot. Rosero pushing him down from behind. Referee says play on. Bogus gets around Rosero because of it. Bogus chipping it towards the goalkeeper. And McIntosh grabs it on the line with both hands. Bogus didn't get a lot of that one. Good effort there. 64th minute. Boy, Mateusz Bogus, Stipe Buk, and Nathan Ordaz really, really worked hard in this match in their time on the pitch. I got to tell you, they were really after it from the opening whistle. And it really didn't always pan out that way, especially in the first half. But LAFC still 1-1. You can't 
just discount sporting with Alan Pulido up front. He's really starting to heat up. Here he is in the 66th minute. Shelton gives way to Davis, who throws it into Shelton in the corner. Shelton turns around Maldonado, lays it off to Pulido in the area, puts it on his left foot, shot to the back post, McCarthy with a diving save. Knocks it out wide to the far side, still sporting. Espinosa flipping it back in, Maria with a header eight yards off the line. Yeah, good effort there from John McCarthy in the defense to hold up. Polito had another chance just two minutes later. Off to Shalloway towards the edge of the 18. Shalloway cutting it back on his right foot. Shalloway, top of the area there, laying it down for Voltaire. Voltaire putting it on his right foot. It's Tommy now on the right foot. Goes out wide to Shelton, edge of the area. Crossing it back, maybe McCarthy gets a touch. Murillo at the six has to clear it away and does. Good dribbling by Murillo after a save by McCarthy. Good effort there again by LAFC to clear their lines. Still 1-1. Sporting Kansas City was kind of getting back on the front foot, getting back, and you're thinking, "Uh uh-oh, here they come again and again, and LAFC were just kind of hold them off. Wow, the 90 minute. 90th minute, everything changed when Aaron Long sent a long ball forward that I thought had Carlos Vela offside, but nobody saw Kyrie Shelton way back defensively on the left of or beg your pardon, the right side of Kansas City's defense. It kept Carlos Vela onside on this play. Don't listen to what I say at first. This is a goal from Carlos Vela. Well done, went by Aaron Long with a hand for a ball. Vela's offside. The flag will come up. Vela comes in, scores the ball. And they're going to say it's onside. Oh, my goodness. It's a goal. Carlos Vela has scored. Everybody fell asleep. I was burned by it. Will this one count? In the 90th minute, Carlos Vela put it away. I thought the flag was surely up. I'm getting a replay here. Was it Kyrie Shelton? Yes, it was. Shelton, I couldn't see him. He was at the bottom of my my vision, and he was keeping Vela onside. It's a goal. Oh, man. And it was clear as day once you saw it. Nobody saw it. Sporting Kansas City had all stopped defensively. And Carlos Vela put it in the back of the net and scored to make it 2-1 in the 90th minute. But that wasn't the end of it. Roger Espinosa seemingly had the tying goal in the 94th minute after Aaron Long got kicked by Kyrie Shelton and went down. The referee said play on, but VAR, that awful VAR in the 96th minute. Here's the really the uh, sums up the game perfectly. Let's say it that way. Here comes the referee. This is a massive, massive call. What is it? No goal. No goal. He says it's a foul on Kyrie Shelton. It's still 2-1 LAFC. It is the right call. But what a break. Peter Vermees doesn't like it. There's no two ways about that. I don't blame him. But it was a foul on Kyrie Shelton. They call it back. No goal. So LAFC with a free kick in the corner on the near side. And, you know, in fairness, many of the sporting Kansas City players, including Kyrie Shelton, are not complaining much. I got to give them credit. I think they kind of know. Yeah, kind of like they kind of saw the replay and realized, okay, yeah, that was a foul. So VAR does come through there to reverse what was a bad call by the referee's crew. LAFC 2, Sporting Kansas City 1, and you just got to take a breath and take a break, and we'll actually do that right now here. Coming up, we'll bring you the Game Changer, powered by Valvoline Instant Oil Change, on the Black and Gold Post Game Show, presented by Heineken, here on ESPN LA. Becoming America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales can based on calendar your sales. Just a second. Listen, it's hard to balance work, family, and school. But it's easier when your university is built for students with a lot on their plate. Since 1976, University of Phoenix has helped over a million working adults earn their degree. Come see what they can do for you. Find out more at phoenix.edu. University of Phoenix, we rise for you. Okay, what's going on? What does it take to make the world's most awarded tequila? 1800 Tequila 
knows it takes dedication down to every crop. It's more than just harvesting the finest blue agave. It's using it in a 200-year-old recipe recognized by tequila experts as the best in its class. So when you choose 1800 tequila, you choose taste above all. 1800, the best taste in tequila. 1800 tequila, Proximo, Jersey City, New Jersey, 21 and older. Please drink responsibly. Sweet, savory, refreshing. Those are just a few words to describe the new Baskin Robbins Mango Nada. Our tribute to this traditional Mexican beverage combines the bright, tropical flavor of mango, the tangy kick of chamoy, and the spice of tahine classico seasoning, leaving taste buds with an unforgettably unique experience. It's the perfect way to sip in the new season. Try a Mango Nada today at Baskin Robbins. Sweet, savory, score. If your colors are black and gold, then you know the heart of L.A. And if you're one of four million that call L.A. home, then you're the heart that keeps LAFC going strong. As the team physicians of LAFC, Kaiser Permanente knows that a strong team needs a stronger community. And we're dedicated to helping keep LAFC, their fans, and L.A. at their absolute best. Because shoulder to shoulder we stand, and together we thrive. Kaiser Permanente. 200% more power, 300% longer battery life, and 100% faster charging. That's what pros can expect from Flex Power Tools. Featuring stacked lithium battery technology, this game-changing power keeps pros on the job and off the sidelines so they can outwork, outperform, and outlast the competition. And it's backed by the Flex Lifetime Warranty for all tools, batteries, and chargers. Stay in the game with Flex Power Tools, a proud sponsor of LAFC. Visit FlexPowerTools.com to check out the full lineup of 24 volt tools what does a bank like bemo know about soccer well we've been a fan for two decades helped over a quarter million kids take the pitch and invested 25 million dollars in support of youth athletes but we're not just growing the game we're growing the good we're a bank that helps millions of customers make real financial progress and that's something we can all cheer for bemo Official Bank of LAFC. BMO Harris Bank, NA member FDIC. You were listening to the Black and Gold Post Game Show. Capping everything that went down tonight. This is the Black and Gold Post Game Show. The Black and Gold Post Game Show presented by Heineken. The Black and Gold Post Game Show is presented by Heineken. Heineken, official partner of Los Angeles Football Club. This is LAFC's head coach, Steve Chirundolo. This is the Black and Gold Post Game Show. LAFC Sporting KC is a final. He's a final once again. Back to Dave Denholm. Oh, what a game it was. Win, 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 win is all that matters. LAFC come from behind. Two second half goals to beat Sporting Kansas City 2-1. to one. And in time for the Valvoline Instant Oil Change game changer, it was Carlos Vela among the subs who all helped out at halftime to change the match. Vela getting the winner in the 90th minute. Well done, Wen, by Aaron Long with a hand or ball. Vela's offside. The flag will come up. Vela comes in, scores the ball. And they're going to say it's onside. Oh, my goodness. It's a goal. Carlos Vela has scored. Everybody fell asleep. I was burned by it. Will this one count? In the 90th minute, Carlos Vela put it away. I thought the flag was surely up. I'm getting a replay here. Was it Kyrie Shelton? Yes, it was. Shelton, I couldn't see him. He was in the bottom of the ice. My vision, and he was keeping Vela outside. It's a goal. Oh, man. Fooled everybody in the uh, whole park. I think it fooled Kyrie Shelton as well. And the goal ends up standing. Valvoline Instant Oil Change, home of the 15-minute oil change. Visit SoCalOilChange.com for locations and to score game-winning coupons off your next Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Let's go to Steve Tarundalo, who's at the podium at Children's Mercy Park after the win. Playing their first game tonight, so uh, very, very proud and happy with the group. Um, obviously, the score was recording in progress. Uh, were you planning to keep some players to be on the field tonight, but due to the result, you have the need to put them on the field? Um, can you be more specific? Yeah, for example, in the example of Carlos Vela, maybe you were, he's been a streak of six, five games where you have been like playing Saturday, playing Wednesday, where you're playing and maybe give them some time to put the young players, but. Look, it, the schedule we have is what it is, and it's it's literally impossible to start the same lineup every game. Um, it, it's, it's, we're not machines. Um, 
the players nor the coaches. Um, it's impossible. And so we do our best to field a team um, that has enough fitness in their legs, that has enough freshness in their legs, and has the experience to win games in this league, which is very difficult on the road. Um, and the defensive performance tonight, a uh, very disciplined effort from everybody. Uh, but like I said, guys really gave everything they had. So, yes, um, we did try to rotate and um, to help us out for Wednesday, our next game, and then Saturday again. So we will have to deal and work in this manner moving forward. Um, so I uh, couldn't be happy with the group that they're actually rewarded for their hard work tonight. And um, uh, hopefully this will set us up for the next couple of games and weeks. Would you say a heavy schedule played a role into deciding to give Gazer and Daz the first start as well, calling up Suba and Jaime to the roster for tonight? Yes. And when have you seen of their performances thus far? Well, for us to call up on them, speaks for them and their and their development. Um, they are progressing and, um, you know, our our academy coaches and our training and our second team with Enrique Duran um, have done an amazing job with these guys and to get them ready for moments like this. And uh, when we call on them, they're ready to go. Um, I think our alignment in the club is top to bottom. Everybody is, is playing the same way and learning the same principles and habits, um, which makes it very easy for me to throw guys in because I know exactly what to do. That is manager Steve Chirundolo talking to the media after the 2-1 win. LAFC come back in the second half, trailing 1-0 at the break, and win 2-1 at Children's Mercy Park. Their third win on the road this season. And LAFC are tied with Seattle, or St. Louis rather on points on the West. Now, technically, St. Louis have the tiebreaker right now as win. Wendy's Strawberry Frosty is back for the summer. So whether it's beach time, a tea time, or me time, it can always be frosty time. Choose Wendy's Strawberry Frosty today. Now open till midnight or later. Limited time only. Participating U.S. Wendy's hours may vary. Craving a mealtime vacation? Let Taco John's Mango Shrimp Street Tacos whisk you away to a land of tropical flavor. With crispy fried shrimp and freshly made mango salsa, your taste buds will never want to go home. Free for $6 Mango Shrimp Street Tacos, only at Taco John's. If money talked, it would say... Taco John's value menu means bold bites to keep you and your wallet full. Premium ingredients like hand-cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico starting at one, two, or three bucks. <clears throat> Sounds like a delicious deal. The value menu at Taco John's. I'm Andrea, founder of a boutique handbag brand, Andy, and this is why I switched to Shopify. I tried three other platforms prior to Shopify, and I remember my breaking point was when I would try to make one little change and my entire site would go down. Shopify made it really easy for me to shift everything over and hit the ground running. I was easily able to migrate my products and all of my customer information over. With the drag and drop theme editor, we don't need to hire a developer to do any coding. What's amazing is that each theme is automatically optimized on mobile. It's incredible. It looks even better on the phone. We really like adventure. We would not be able to go on the road without a platform that we can rely on. What are you waiting for? Start your free trial with Shopify today. From templates that make site design simple to customizations that let you grow at your pace, this is your possibility powered by Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash music 23. Go to shopify.com slash music 23 to take your business to the next level today. A.O. Smith is your local Middle Tennessee water heating and water filtration expert. They enjoy getting involved with local community events such as Titans football and nationally is the presenting sponsor of the prestigious Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award every year. Most importantly, A.O. Smith takes pride in always being there for your needs at your home or business. When you need a water heater or water filter, think A.O. Smith and contact us today. To find a local professional installer, visit hotwater.com. That's hotwater.com. Hi, this is Paul Winkler. Are you searching for a podcast on money, investing, and financial planning that's actually run by degreed financial planners and isn't driven by the sales process? Then check out the Investor Coaching Show podcast.
on a recent podcast, we talked about the stages of retirement and the things you might expect out of the longest vacation you'll probably ever take in your life. Go to paulwinkler.com forward slash podcast or search for The Investor Coaching Show wherever you get your podcasts. The Investor Coaching Show. Craving a mealtime vacation? Let Taco John's Mango Shrimp Street Tacos whisk you away to a land of tropical flavor. With crispy fried shrimp and freshly made mango salsa, your taste buds will never want to go home. Free for $6 Mango Shrimp Street Tacos, only at Taco John's. If money talked, it would say... Taco John's value is menu means bold bites to keep you and your wallet full. Premium ingredients like hand-cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico starting at one, two, or three bucks. <clears throat> Sounds like a delicious deal. The value is menu at Taco John's. I'm Andrea, founder of a boutique handbag brand, Andy, and this is why I switched to Shopify. I tried three other platforms prior to Shopify, and I remember my breaking point was when I would try to make one little change and my entire site would go down. Shopify made it really easy for me to shift everything over and hit the ground running. I was easily able to migrate my products and all of my customer information over. With the drag and drop theme editor, we don't need to hire a developer to do any coding. What's amazing is that each theme is automatically optimized on mobile. It's incredible. It looks even better on the phone. We really like adventure. We would not be able to go on the road without a platform that we can rely on. What are you waiting for? Start your free trial with Shopify today. From templates that make site design simple to customizations that let you grow at your pace, this is your possibility powered by Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash music 23. Go to shopify.com slash music 23 to take your business to the next level today. From the Superbook.com studio, WGFX Gallatin, Nashville. A Cumulus Media Station. Touchdown, Titans! Your flagship for Titans Radio, 104.5 The Zone. The broadcast moved as Nashville SC beats St. Louis 3-1, and we go downstairs where Gary Smith is addressing the media. You've just got to maintain this sort of level of performance, which, to Ben's point, he's been able to do for the last three years, um, two and a half years. You know, if he can maintain that that groove and that that level, I, 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 he has to be in the equation, surely. I mean, he's moving in that direction right now. But don't get me wrong, there's some very, very talented players in the league now. And the, there's still a long way to go, but he's in a great spot, and he's in and he's in good form, which is just as important. I'm sorry, Navar. In terms of how they impact the games in, in this um, well, I've not been able to see. Um, I saw the I saw the first one, that that was, I think Nima was asked to go and look at the monitor for the for the possible penalty. And what I saw on our monitor behind us was a forward who was moving at pace, who actually threw his right leg out and there was a collision. I didn't see a foul. I didn't see, I think it was Josh. I don't, I don't think Josh, was it Jack or Josh? Jack. Uh, I didn't think he put his leg out. The guy didn't go over his leg. He ran into Jack. I, I'm not even sure from what I saw why he was asked to go to the monitor. He'd, he'd already seen the foul. VAR is meant to be there for something that is, you know, um, clear and obvious that is a foul. You've got this wrong, Nima. You might need to go and look at this again. And I couldn't see that any, anywhere close to that on, on the monitor behind me. The second guy was a little bit more complicated, I felt. Um... Uh, and I, I, I'm not talking from what I've seen now, but only what I've been told, that there was a possible foul on Daniel Lovitz. There was a possible handball in there as well that that led to that point. And again, I think you've heard it many, many times. If you've got to spend that long looking at the monitor, you know, maybe there were some reasons, but I find it hard to believe that you can pull a, a you know, a goal out of that. I, th I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, you know, it shouldn't have been given. It didn't, it didn't play into the result today, but, you know, complicated, I think, is the word. Gary, it seems like uh, these teams and Scotty uh, figured out that 
Because the long snow was uh, it was not very geometric. So it looks from upstairs that they, they were they were not practice and the way they set up this 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 process into the into the uh, small sorry, into the box so that it won't get away from from Joe. And then that right there, this is what if I go like that to ask you about the performance by, by Josh and, 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 and Jack depending on that type of complex uh, offering. Well, I honestly thought the first period was was a little bit more direct, and and they put the two centre backs under a lot of pressure, and it's not always that first ball that they win. What they do is put the centre backs under enough pressure that the ball's not cleared with any distance, and they do a tremendous job of of picking up the next phase or working into an area that can be productive for them. That, and that is what they are very very good at. They're extremely well drilled. So in the first period, I, I, I thought there were a couple of times that, by the way, the two youngest centre backs I think that have ever paired in a group that I've had here, and I, and I would say as well, I think I was asked this question um, earlier in the week. I think anywhere I've ever been, so you know, a young pairing, two centre backs that we're missing for different reasons that are far more mature and maybe physically adept, but I did think in a situation where both of them could have crumbled a little bit. They're under a lot of pressure. I, I, I thought Josh held his end up extremely well throughout the game, certainly in general play. The couple of times I felt a little bit uncomfortable with dead balls. I just didn't feel that, that there was a, a, a comfortable nature about the group from dead balls. And whether that was because we were missing someone like Walker, who's a terrific leader in those situations. But they were the only times I really felt as though those younger centre-backs might just not be the first to the ball. Um, and, of course, the goal comes from that. I think it was Parker that won it centrally. Um, but in general, if you look at what Josh has achieved over the last three games that we played, he's incrementally increased his minutes. And I can't believe there's anyone that looked out there and thought he looked out of place. There is Gary Smith meeting with the media here tonight as Nashville SC takes down St. Louis City SC 3-1 to one with big praise for Hani Mukhtar and praise as well for Josh Bauer, who was terrific uh, tonight for the injured Lucas McNaughton and the national team player, Walker Zimmerman, who's with the U.S. out west right now um let's play the highlights jaleel before we get to a very obvious choice for the man of the match presented by heineken silver and we pick things up in the 10th minute the first time tonight that honey mukhtar would find the back of the net out to more he could cross from here he does middle of the area headed down there's honey yes and mvps welcome to MLS's newest team. Meet your most valuable player. 11th minute, Nashville 1, St. Louis 0. Hani Mukhtar's 11th goal of the season and his 50th in the last three seasons. With that goal, he became the third player ever in MLS with 50 goals and 30 assists in a three-year span, joining Giovinco and Keane, two royal names in Major League Soccer. Nicholas Joachini would equalize things with his seventh goal of the season in the 41st minute after a lengthy VAR review. A goal that was initially called offsides was then overturned despite the fact that Joachini's last touch of the ball was by his left elbow. We played forward into halftime in a one-to-one -one deadlock. Nashville would make a pair of changes at the halftime interval. Ethan Zubak would occupy the front line with Hani Mukhtar, and Hani would get on the end of a two-on-one, playing a ball over to Jacob Schaffelberg, who was upended by Kyle Hebert, leaving Nashville's number 10 at the spot with a chance to give the boys in gold a lead. Berkey versus Hani. Here we go. Mukhtar shoots and scores. Who else but Hani? The MVP is calm and composed at the spot. And in the 70th minute, Giotis Park is going nuts. 
because the MVP has given the home side the lead again. 70 minutes gone. Nashville 2, St. Louis 1. Oh, but Hani wasn't done because five minutes later on a perfect flick from Dax McCarty's right foot, Hani Mukhtar would make it three and send everybody home happy. Headed down by Zubak, here's Hani, middle of the halfway circle. Hani Mukhtar with red shirts all around him, just twirls away from danger. He was outnumbered, but that doesn't matter with him. Right hand side of the midfield, there's Alex oh. Wheel poked in. McCarty, Mukhtar and a hat trick! He's done it again! Three of the best goals from one of the best in MLS. And through 75 minutes, Nashville leads St. Louis 3-1. And that was it. The final score line tonight in match day 19 of Major League Soccer. 35 points now for the boys in gold. And this time last year, Jalil Anibaba, Hani had nine goals and five assists en route to a most valuable player campaign. Uh, he has 13 goals and seven assists through 18 games this year, and he is the runaway favorite for your man of the match presented by Heineken Silver. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, uh, again, for me with Hani Mukhtar, it's, it's just about, you know, his ability to pick moments that are so important. And then most importantly, he's looking – to get other people in on the score sheet. If it wasn't for the yellow card, or yeah, I guess the second yellow card, which was a subsequent red for, for St. Louis, it would have been two goals and an assist for Hani Mukhtar. Schaffelberg would have got the tap in. And, you know, it's just the way in which Hani Mukhtar is going about these performances. He's looking to bring other people into the fold, into the scoring, and that's really what makes the club so, so, so dangerous. We know that Hani Mukhtar can score 20-plus goals, but if he can get 20-plus goals and 15 assists, you're, you can mark my words, I would put a lot of money on the fact that the boys in gold are going to be looking at contending for an MLS Cup if those are the numbers that he's getting, carrying into and throughout the playoffs. Nashville SC now 10 wins, 5 draws, 3 losses this season. Second place, they remain in Major League Soccer's Eastern Conference, beating the top side in the West by a final score tonight of 3-1. to one. So that table says FC Cincinnati on top with 40 Nashville SC now in second, having played one more game than FCC. 